Uh, somebody in the guild asked me um, my technique to leveling. It's a very simple technique. I, I, I will go through it, actually. I said, watch... The, he's probably not watching. But I said, watch the stream. And I'll go over it. If you're actually interested. I don't think anyone's really interested in this, but... Basically, do you know that program Zygor that tells you where to run, what foot to put in front of the other? Get that and delete it off of your system completely. That's, if, that's my first tip. Because it's lying to you. Technically, number-wise, it might be the quickest, but it's not. What's the quickest is... Go to an area which you really like. Collect every single quest, first thing. Every single quest, and then just attack it. It's pick sections, right? So I've come here. I know. This the trouble is, a lot of this is from experience as well. I know we go to Nesson Ways... Um, uh, hunting thing right there right pick them all up that section you can grind it for about one to two hours you get a fat load of xp so you like Zygor will take you to where you get the most xp but you've got travel and stuff on that your best technique is to go to places that you like and collect all the quests and then just stay there and just hit everything. It's simple. Get your grind on and just learn to love it. That's the other thing. Put on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or something. Something you enjoy watching. Uh, and just um, just zone out and just do it. The trouble is, I know from experience which area to go to, what level you've got to be. I mean, it doesn't really apply to Outlands, because you can literally go everywhere. Like, it's already laid out for you. I'll explain that in a second. So in Outlands, it's easy, right? Because you come in here, Hellfire Peninsula, Peninsula and you just start quest it's laid out for you there's a there's a path there's an actual written path you go from here flies you over to there obviously you're going to pick those quests up quests all the way along here all the way along here quests here quests here quests here finish up up here and then guess what happens when you're finishing up up here that's right you go to zangamash some people hate zangamash i freaking love the place i think it's awesome it looks like um, uh, uh, Morrowind on steroids and blue. Brilliant. So I do that, and do you know what? When you've finished all these quests, you've not quite got Cosmic the Guppy levels. Says, exactly. Zanga Marsh can get in the bin. Some people hate it, I don't get it. But anyway, when you finish Zanga Marsh, for some reason, you're just, you're not quite le at 65. Well, this could could be because I I turned up to Outlands when I was 58. So that's probably why I'm not 65. Because what would happen if you went to Outlands at 60, you'd probably finish all these quests and you'd be 65. And then you can just go to Nagrand. But this has happened a few times to me, actually. Right After Nagrand, you kind of got to go do your Shatra missions. But that's no biggie, because you need to select if you're picking the Scryer or Aldor anyway. Tip for you guys, pick Aldor, it's better. Uh, and then... It's just a better place to run around, when I say that. So when you've finished your Shatra, head on down to this little sneaky little place here. Collect those missions. It's just here. You literally you just quest all in this area. And it's a fat load of XP. It's good fun as well. Done. Then after that, guess what you can do? You've got some quests here. You can quickly do those as you're running up to Nagrand, and then that brings you straight out here. No, sorry, it brings you out here. That's actually Zangamarsh. But anyway, you need to go there and pick up the quest and start there in Nagrand. Don't forget your flight path. 
if you're in alliance, your flight path's here, which really sucks. If you're in alliance and you want to quest in the Grand, you've always got head off down to this bottom area, and it sucks. It always feels like you've got to run miles. Horde, it's all right. It's right in the middle. After the Grand, guess where we're going to go after the Grand? Shadow Moon can get in the bin. It's boring. We're going to go to Blade's Edge Mountain. This place kicks ass. Because as soon as you've done it, you spend a very short time here in Blade's Edge Mountain. But you, you do it in the order, on the path that it tells says, you again. There is a flight point in Zanga that's close to the top. Is there? Are you sure? Where? I'm trying to think. I don't think there is. You're lying to me. Anyway, I can't remember. I don't really play Alliance that often. Cosmic Guppy says in the marsh. I believe you. Like I said, I don't really play Alliance too much. I'm... Anyway. After Blades Edge Mountain, it, it just tells you it tells you to go there. Look, it's giving you a quest. I think I've got that quest in uh, Zanga Marsh. It tells you to go to the Grand or Blades Edge Mountain. So just hold on to those. Take you right there. Get your flight path, uh, and then you just follow the route. It, it's like a, it perfectly tells you like you follow the quest where to go. And then guess what? Oh yeah, we're gonna finish up. In Neverstorm, and it's going to be awesome. I like Neverstorm. It's purple, looks great. Quests are just everywhere. By the time you finish Blade's Edge Mountain, you're going to be the exact right level you need to be. And to be honest, after the Grand, it f goes pretty quick. I find this. This is what I found when I did it on uh, Alliance. It seems to go pretty damn quick. But as far as like 1 to 60, I do have a bit of a routine that I do, but the, the thing is, I get bored because I've done it so many times, so I do tend to change things up, but it's pretty much the same. So if I was to do it on the Horde, obviously it depends on where you start, but a lot of people like to start in the Undercity area. I do not. If I was a Blood Elf, then I would do... It's not necessarily the quickest way of doing it, but I would do the Stein area, which leads into you going to the Ghostlands. Is that what it's called? I think it's called Ghostlands at the bottom. When you get to the Ghostlands, everything is really quick, really close together. Do that. Uh, and then when I finish them Cosmic or when Guppy I can't do the elite says, stuff there. You. Cosmic Guppy. Says. P. Yeah. Alright, so when you finish the Ghostland stuff. And. You're kind of like. You will probably get those elite quests where you got to do the team, the group stuff. And. You can never find a group. Unless you're playing with a friend to do those. So just bin those. And I head straight to the Barrens. Uh, to the crossroads. And start doing those quests. Because there's just there's so many of them. They're so close together. And you've got Ratchet as well. And you've got the pirates there. On the coast of Ratchet. There's just so much to do there. And you can't go wrong. Again, you can just switch your brain off and just get on with it. But a lot of people, they like to go to the Undercity area. It's like Taran Mill, which is a fun place to go to. I don't think it's the, the most efficient place to go to. Because you do an awful lot of running backwards and forwards. You've got to go to that farm, right, and the mine, and then back to Taran Mill. And it takes a really, really long time, even though you get a lot of XP. 
I think it's better to go to the crossroads and do that. And then from the crossroads you can go... Um, what's it called? The, uh, the... Stone Town and Mountains. You could go up there. Let's just have a look at it a minute. This is a teacher day with with quints, right? So I'd usually quest, like you get all the quests, they're literally here. You quest in that very small circle, killing everything. And it will also lead you to Ratchet, where you can quest along this coast and do a escort quest at the uh, North Watch hold here. You get, there's, there's so, so much to do there. And in Classic, if you're a rogue, there's a boat there, and you can do the unlocking of the boxes and get your lock picking up. So I would do that, and you could head down there and quest, but actually that's not what I do. <laughs> I know I just whinged about Taran Mill, but actually once I've finished with this section here, I probably would go over to Taran Mill. Hinterlands, oh, Hillsbrook. Cosmic Guppy. I would go to Tara Mill. Says, South Shore. South Shore. Well, yeah, if you're Alliant. I'd go there, probably. And then once I've done that, I head down. Once I've got my level up, I you, you would end up here. In Thousand Needles. And when you're done there, you're going to end up in the best place ever. Which is Shimmering Flat. But actually, do you know what? I'd, I would probably do this and then Stranglethorn Fail and Shimmering Flats. Or that, Shimmering Flats, then Stranglethorn Fail. Probably in that order, actually. And then once you're done with Stranglethorn Fail, it's Tanaris all the way, man. Tanaris, Ongoro Crater, you're there. This is the home stretch. It's as simple as that.